Welcome, right. welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome. I was here when? January? Yeah, when we did. Yeah. February? Yeah, February. Oh, okay. Thank no. you. January. And then I came again in February. In February, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm here back again and I'm honored. Thank you, everyone. Oh, shoot. Man, King Sign Gallery. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, today, um, you know, I'm honored to be here with you all. Um, I just want to speak a little bit about. You know, the times that we, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to flow, I actually, because um, that's me. I'm a Pisces. I just like to flow with things and let things come to me and, you know, express it the way it comes through. And I feel like, you know, this, the way I'm going to, you know, express myself to everyone is the way that, in a sense, like, we should start to communicate within ourselves because, like, it's the higher me that's about to take over, you know? And a lot of us, not per se in this room, but just overall, collectively, a lot of us cannot tap into our, our higher self. We have trouble or difficulties with following our gut feeling, you understand? Um, we have trouble with following our intuition. If you are in a car or whatever and you lost and your spirit tell you to go left, and you're like, oh shoot, I don't know, I don't think so. Your spirit is telling you to go left, go left. And then when you go right, then you want a whole number and then you're like, damn, I should have followed my spirit. Now, more than ever, you know, nonetheless is the time to, in a sense, like, we need to start to ground ourselves, you understand? When was the last time that we went into the parks and took off our shoes and put our feet in the soil and allow the earth to just ground or just connect? A lot of us are going through root chakra or a lot of us have root chakra issues. When you have issues with your root chakra, the, your whole foundation is off, meaning like you are not able to properly make decisions. You always got to check with somebody else. Oh, yo, 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 what you think? No, follow your fuckers, like follow your gut feeling. Follow, follow what your spirit is telling you to do. But because we are not grounded, right? We are not grounded. We are always in this state of limbo. And especially now because of like society, uh, um, social media, stuff like that. A lot of us want to like, damn, I want that too. Like, why do you want that? What is it that you see that you want, that you like want to imitate? We got to learn how to be ourselves. You understand? Like, I didn't introduce myself, but my name is Bajella, publicly known as Mama Ella. Um, I am a psychic medium. Most of me know, it, know me to be a psychic medium. I come from a Haitian and Congolese background. I grew up in spirituality. Like, right? this brother here is Haitian. We, we spiritual by default. <laughs> right in my, in my life we're spiritual by default and so like growing up like spiritual and then now looking at the times that we're in now is like damn you didn't know to do that like you didn't know to trust your gut feeling you didn't know that those were signs and so a lot of us in a sense we truly need to do number one the shadow work and number two, work on our chakras, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, right? A lot of us have sexual energies and have been molested, like molestation, you know what I'm saying, um, that we need to heal from. So like, and then as a result of not healing from sexual uh, molestation, we now choose partners that are not for us, you know what I'm saying? We're having, we're, we're, we are attracted to toxic relationships because we still haven't healed from our childlike sexual energy, you know what I'm saying? So like healing 
your sacral chakra, even the solar plex, dealing with the soul, your solar plex, right? Which is your, which is in a sense, the, your gut feeling. Many of us cannot and do not trust our intuition. And when I do a lot of readings for people, Spirit Realm is always saying, yo, you need to tell this person to trust their gut feeling. You need to trust that soul. You need to trust that first brain or that first mind that tells you no or tells you no go ahead and do that this is okay like one thing for sure we have what is known as a god body mm -hmm. and we also have what is known as a pain body and a lot of us because we haven't healed from certain traumas in our past life and childhood, we resonate more so on the pain body. So it's like whenever when somebody try to help you, why like why is this person trying to help me? Because they're trying to help. So why are you resonating on the pain body instead of being receptive and like you know what this person is trying to help me? Probably I should, you know what I'm saying? I should listen or I should be open to what this person is telling me to do or is trying to help me out with. A lot of us have trust issues. Oh, I don't trust that person. Why you don't trust that person? You don't trust that person because you don't trust yourself. And if you trust yourself, then your higher self will tell you like, nah, this person is good. Or your higher self will reveal the person's intention. However, the trust issue is there, also known as heart chakra like being impaired or whatnot. So your heart chakra needs to be impaired. A lot of us have daddy issues. Daddy was never around. Daddy said, yo, I'm coming. Even men, you know what I'm saying? Like not growing up with a father, that's hard. Like we try to like mask things. And right now it's not about masking. It's not about the um what is the um you have the uh the um the mask the mask is the um thinking about the um in the in the natal chart uh the mask is what you wear i'm gonna the the, the name is gonna come back um you have the rising sign the rising sign you have your Okay, it's gonna it's gonna come back to me. Your moon, not the moon sign, not your moon sign. You have your right, you have your right. Your sun. Matter of fact, it's your rising sign. Why do I keep saying it? Your rising sign is actually the mask that you wear, right? That's what uh, that's what people see. So my rising sign is a Gemini. So people may say like, oh yeah, you know, she got duality. She no, no, it's not that. It's that this is what that's this is my characteristic. But who, who, who am I internally? Who I am internally is the whole zodiac sign. But you have to ask yourself, who are you internally more so? Like, are you are you wearing a mask? Are you walking outside every day still hurting behind? things that happened to you in your childhood or a relationship that you've been in five or six years ago? Mm. Are you still not healed from that? Are we still walking around hurt? You know what I mean? Like, if your heart is not lighter than that feather or a feather, you're going to have to repeat a lot of traumas and a lot of experiences in your li next lifetime. This is the codes of the ancient Egyptians. They weigh your you, they weigh your heart on that feather, and if your heart is not lighter than that feather, brothers and sisters, we're gonna have to repeat a whole lot of things. And I know for sure that we don't want to repeat hurt and pain and suffering, and you know, um, con uh, uh, being attached to a neglectful mother. Like a lot of us, our mothers don't even love us. You get what I'm saying? Real talk, like, I've read thousands and thousands of people and a lot of uh, my clients have mama issues. And you would think like a mother is caring and loving, and but not everybody that 
give birth right. is a mother. And I know that I can feel that I'm touching some people based on mama and daddy, but this is what Spirit Realm is telling me to speak about because we have to face it. We got to stop hiding from what is hurting us, especially men. Men don't want to cry. Men don't want to express themselves. You hear what I'm saying? Like, how are you supposed to be a good father? How are you supposed to be a good husband? How are you supposed to be a good friend? How are you supposed to be a good son? How are you supposed to be a good provider if you're not even providing mentally, physically, and spiritually for yourself? So I just feel like as the earth is ascending and we see everything that is going on, you know what I'm saying? Like wars here, solar eclipse here, planetary alignment shifts here. Like all of these different things that is happening globally are signs that we are going into the the golden age. And if you're if you're not resonating on the fifth dimension or sixth dimension, or you still on that third level dimension, then you're gonna get left behind. I'm so sorry. And who wants to get and who wants and what I mean by left behind, I'm referring to like you're gonna have to repeat these cycles again. You're gonna get left behind. You're going to not receive the benefits of ascension because we are all here on this planet to learn lessons and receive blessings and if we are not receiving the lessons meaning we still stuck in a third dimension then how are we going to be able to ascend and open up that third eye so that that crown chakra could be illuminated and then we can resonate in our God-like self versus resonating in this hurt body. A lot of us, again, like I said, we respond based on fear and hurt and oh, I don't want this to happen to me no more. So, nah, I can't, do, like, why are you so tense? Like. <laughs> Loosen up, take a walk, take, you know what I mean? Like take a walk in a park, go by the water, breathe in, breathe out. Like a lot of us, like if we have, if we are not able to connect with like our solar plex, we gotta do a lot of fire breathing. You know what I'm saying? Like fire breathing, getting that circulation going so that things are flowing in energy and messages are being received in our solar plex. You know what I'm saying? Like we call ourselves like, oh, I'm spiritual or I'm conscious and I'm this and you know what I mean? And I'm that and we can't, we can't even follow like our spiritual navigation. Like we consistently try to seek for someone else's opinion. I just want us to get to a level where we respect ourselves as gods and goddesses. You get what I'm saying? Like, we throw that word around too loosely, peace queen. Why are you a queen? Like, my, my mate, like, my mate be checking me like, you want me to call you a queen? You need to act like a queen. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you want to be called a goddess, but you need to act like a goddess. You need to speak like a goddess. Your energy needs to be of that. With however you're going to get to that level. Because everybody here, we are all on different journeys. We are all here to bring something to the table collectively. So everybody's journey and everybody's uh, experience is going to be different. But my thing is you need to stick to your experience. You need to stick to your own journey, stick to your own lane. And again, you know, like go within, like we need to go within. We need to, we need to definitely, um, like observe the, our, you know, our God-like self. Definitely, especially water signs, right? Water signs are known to be like very intuitive, um, you know, psychics or whatnot. Um, and like, you know, what is it, empaths and things of that nature. 
fire signs are more like actions, action, action type people. But I feel like fire signs also get lots of downloads. You know what I'm saying? Like they get down lots of downloads, but then what are you going to do with the downloads that you get? That's and right. that's another thing. Like, okay, you get these downloads, but what are we going, what are we doing with these downloads? You know what I mean? Like, there's different types of, in a sense, there's different types of like, like um, psychics, right? You have like clairvoy clairvoyance where people are seeing spirits, like you can see ghosts, you can see spirits and things of that nature. You have clear audience where you can hear, like you can hear like a whisper or a, you know, a spirit talking to you. Like that's what I do. Like I'm a medium. I'm also a psychic, but I consider myself more so of a medium. I can hear spirits. I can see spirits. I'm not, not so more like touch, feel, but some people is called clear sen sentience, something of that nature, where some people are able to feel when a spirit is in the room or whatnot. And so like, if you know, if you know, that you have this ability, because we all do, but we have to bring it out. If you know that you have this ability, it is now time for us to start working on it. Like if your, sp if your spirit is telling you, yo, it's time for you to go on a fast, stop like delaying it. Go on that fast. Everything is a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Everything is a cycle and if, like, like they say, you better like, you have to walk be before you crawl. So if you trying to, yo, I want to be this psychic person. Yeah, crawl before you walk, right? You know. So you, everything's in cycles. Everything is is step, step, step by step, step by step. Like first, let's start to acknowledge where we hurt at. Yo, where am I hurting at? Is it the trust issue that I have? Is it the addiction that I have? Cause I got a shopping addiction. I don't know about y'all, but I shop like a mug. Amazon all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like most of us have have addictions, and it's like, is is this addiction taking over us? And if it is, can we can we stop that addiction? Because if you can't stop an addiction that you have, then you still resonating on that pain body. You're not resonating on the God body. You're not resonating in your highest good. And the most of the reason why we come to these gatherings and stuff like that is because we trying to figure out where to fit in or what group we belong in or, you know what I'm saying? Let me get some knowledge because like, not everybody is going to resonate with what I say. Not everybody's gonna resonate with what she say. Not everybody's gonna resonate with perhaps what my aunt say. You know what I'm saying? But probably if one or two people receive the message, That's we good. have we have uh, succeeded. You get what I'm saying? Because we come here and everybody brain is wired differently. You know what I'm saying? And so like now is the time. And we start to ground ourselves. We start to get more in tune with nature. You know, we start to do our, our mini fasting. We start to keep our secrets to ourselves. Why are you always talking your business to some goddamn body? For right? what? Right? <laughs> you always talking your business. You always going, you, you using that throat chakra a little bit too much. You over, you over the top with it. Keep certain things, to, things yourself. to yourself because guess what? We all are sacred ones. And if you just tell your business to some, you know, to all your friends or whatever, you ain't sacred. I know all your business. Keep, keep stuff to yourself. Respect your temple. You don't got to tell everybody, yeah, I'm going on a fast. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do. It's not nobody's business with you, you do in your sacred life. Start wearing crystals if that's what you need. Start taking spiritual baths. Start, you know what I mean, daily by daily. Start doing a blood cleanse. Let me take one cup 
of this, whatever you choose to drink, a day to just get the system going. Today, I um, brought in um, freshly made CMOS gel. My CMOS come from Jamaica. I felt like, okay, I didn't break much, but I brought the gel because the gel will help you to get things cleansed out in your body. It will start with, you know what I mean, your health journey, if you want to, if you're starting the health journey. But even to maintain your health, one scoop a day will keep the doctors away. All right, you feel? All right, right sookie sookie. <laughs> and so I said, you know what? The Simon's gel would do the people good. Let me freshly make this today. You get what I'm saying? So it ain't sitting in the refrigerator for, no, it's freshly made. So when you go home, you start scooping that, you start feeling good about yourself. You start cleansing. Some of us are spiritually constipated and physically constipated. You How are you supposed to think mentally clear if you're not even passing no bowels? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Like it don't like where's the balance? As above, so below. Like you want, we want to think like gods, but the colon is packed with shit. Nonsense. <laughs> I I'm trying to keep it clean because you know I curse. I really I curse. I I say a lot of curses, <laughs> but I want to be respectful today. You know, I want to be res I want because I want to talk. I want to talk about. God, us being gods. So I didn't want to really say, you know what I mean, fuck this shit, because you, you already know. Right. I'm straight New York. We all do. We from New York. You, that's how we talk. And especially, I'm very confident because, like, I, I, I come from that. Like my mother, my mother, she's nuts. All she, all she is, is spirit, a spiritual person. That's all we do is eat, sleep, and breathe spirituality. We got dreams, right? Asian people, I've seen it in a dream. <laughs> Don't go there. That's right. our intuition, but that's... Most people, you know, see things in a dream and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is, in Haitian culture, when they see something in the dream, uh -huh. we're telling you, that's our psychic ability, that's our spirit telling us, yo, tell this person and it's not and Haitian people are not going to say oh no I didn't see it I'm not going to tell no we are going to tell you that we see it in the dream because that is a sign and we love letting people know that listen don't do that do this spirit told me and if you do it you're going to see so um you know I can take a few questions. Today I'm doing readings for those of you that are interested. Um, I'm doing readings today. Like I said, I have the Seymour gel for sale, $30. Um, you know, straight CMOS and things of that nature. I just wanted to, like I said, flow with, you know, my message just to let us know that we should stick to our spiritual destiny yes. and just take time for ourselves a lot of people are afraid to even be by yourself like people be needing partners like why do you need to be in a relationship you know what i'm saying like you 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 got a friend that always in, a, in some relationship and it's like damn this shit never go good it don't go good because you ain't spend time with yourself to yes. figure out who you are and you ain't spend no time with yourself to heal from your past relationships. So you keep attracting these same people because that's what your heart is attracting, hurt people. As they say, hurt people, hurt people. And so like, I be needing time for myself. And I know everybody here be needing time for ourselves. So we have to make that time for ourselves to like, who am I? Mm -hmm. Like, who am I? Like, why am I not doing things that make me happy? Like, why am I always constantly trying to make this person happy and this person freak, like, is ungrateful? Mm. Like, I need healing. Like, most of us truly need healing. 
we most people be dealing with is in relationship that the next person they don't even like you but you want to be with that person because of what because you need to look internally and heal whatever issue is going on with you because that person clearly is not for you because that person tells you every day i don't want to be with you i don't like you i don't do this with you who you look at you like <laughs> Gods and goddesses, we're going into the golden age. We opening up our pineal glands. We doing, we, we telepathic on them. That's you know what I'm saying? Like me and my friend, me and my good friend Carol, she used to be friends with Dr. Sadie, close like this. I would think about her to this day. And she'll call me like three, four hours after, or that night after. That's telepathic. I sent the signal, yo, I'm thinking about you. And she will call me. Yo, I was thinking about you. Yeah, I know you was thinking about me. Because I was thinking about you, and I sent the signal, and you got the signal, and you called me. When we going to get back to that? When we going to get back to knowing that your, ch your child or something is in danger? You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of molestation, a lot of things happen in the house. Like, when are we going to get back to that feeling where, yo, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's called, um, it's called, like, remote view. It's called, a re it's called remote, it's being a remote viewing psychic. Meaning you feel something is going on while it is going on. It's right. called a remote viewing psychic. Because again, we are all psychic. We all have our intuition. We all sense energies and, and see spirits and feel spirits, but we have to invoke that. We have to bring it out of that, out of that. We have to say, yo, it's okay. It's okay to be spiritual. A lot of us grew up in religion, homes and things like that where, nah, that's, that's the devil's work. But if you, right, that's the devil's work. But look, check this out. If you turn devil backwards, backwards, live. So you live and you're living. So this is the whole type of games and wordplay to fuck with your subconscious mind. There you go. To fuck with your subconscious <laughs> mind. No, because it's, it's just a whole... It's just a whole trauma and a whole rewiring that most of us have to do. And I'm just fortunate that, like, I, I used to be in drum circles as a young girl. I used to even live in Miami. My mother had a Haitian band, he said. Like, like I, I, we embrace our ancestors. And this is what we need to start to do. We need to start embracing them. So going by water, and chanting and just saying thank you and just being grateful will start opening up the doors for us. And that's that's something very simple and that's free. I just gave y'all free game. You know what I'm saying? Like, truth be told, going by water, even going, you know, some people say tree hugging, if that's your thing, you wanna hug a tree. But me, what I recommend, you need. To, we need to start to take your feet ground because guess what the feet is the is the soul the foundation of this whole temple so you put your feet in soil and you are and some people are afraid to do that because oh i don't want nobody to think that i'm crazy <laughs> like nobody's not even thinking about you <laughs> why rob yourself from that like my kids be outside like when i take them to little private parts I, Come on, let's sit right here. Let me ground your feet a little bit. Young as they are. So, like, let's activate that psychicness in us. Let's activate the God-like energy in us. You know, let's activate that love. Let's start to heal the heart chakra, for sure. Because the heart chakra is the, the portal between the physical lower and the spiritual. Anything above the heart chakra 
now you starting to elevate yourself or ascend into this God like person because once your heart chakra is pure then you're going to start to speak with truth you're going to start to communicate properly with people you get what I'm saying and as a result I'm almost done Oh, you say, yeah, 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 this is this, this my closing. This is my closing. I'm just happy to be, like I said, I'm just happy to be here. And um, I just want, my message is for us to basically take time for ourselves and be truthful to ourselves. Let's get in the mirror and start to say affirmations. I love myself, you are worthy of. You get what I'm saying? I love myself, you are worthy of, you are wealthy, I am. I am that I am, you are that I am, which is God. So, thank you, Nicholas Franklin, and thank you, King Simon. Mr. Kapoor, of course, you already know. Um, we got two mics, so it's good. All right. Come all right, sick is sucky. All right, anybody who's sitting next to a seat that's empty, raise your hand real quick. So we don't, no bags on the seat, please. No bags, no food. We only got we only got three seats left, so people can only stand it up. And uh, men, if you got strong legs and you want to give it to a sister when it's time, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. All right? So, yeah, thank you very much. Give a round of applause. Give a round of applause. Thank you, everyone, and if you want my services and we want to talk a little secret, secrets about what was going on, come over there. Right. Right. If you want to book a reading today, come over there. I'm leaving around 8. Okay. All okay. right, and so I'm just letting you know I am available today. And you Thank got your you. cards and stuff over there? What cards? You got a business card? All right, that's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your Instagram? Your... My Instagram is... You are oh, Steve, underscore Majesty thirteen. There it is. So you, are, <laughs> you are underscore Majesty thirteen. I hope everyone have a good time today. It's going to be a good show, and my eyes coming. You got King Simon here. You're never going to be bored. Kafumia is going to be. Doing a sound bowl therapy healing. I did it already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm late. Yes, yeah, too late as usual. No, I'm on, I'm on time. <laughs> no, you're, I'm you're, 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 you're on Haitian time. Talk <laughs> about that time. Talk about that. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Give a round of applause.